Okay, guys, so here's the deal. Today's date is October 28th, 2020. I've not had a lot of videos this October for that. I do apologize, but this is going to be a fun fucking video. A two-day October Horthon type of movie madness video uh, planned. It's going to be crazy. I've got this projector right here that I ordered. Got a lot of stuff going down. Now, the thing is, I'm the only one who really knows about it, but y'all know my good friend Chris Brock. I'm sure y'all know him. He shows up for every single movie madness, and he's a good friend, but he just shows up to my house unexpectedly, and he kind of, I'll just, he ruins the movie madness videos when he does that. So what I'm going to do is a little fucking payback. I know where he lives. I'm going to take this. I got my bags packed and everything. I'm going down there. He don't know. I'm driving down there. We're going to kind of creep up on him, and uh, it should be interesting. Uh, we'll see how it ends, but uh, today's day one, technically, like I said, October 28th. Uh, and I uh, might see you guys back here with some clips tomorrow when I arrive. If not, I might have to come back home. I don't know. We'll see. I hope it doesn't end in an argument. But uh, we'll see how he likes it when somebody shows up to his property unexpected. Okay, guys. So everything's packed for the trip. Um, got my chair here for the outside view and cooler for all the the uh, fresh bit uh, water. Um, got the uh, projector out there a bag full of clothes i probably won't need all of them but anyway never can be too sure now i don't know how this thing's gonna pan out i'm hoping chris at least lets me stay this was a lot of trouble but you know after he shows up on me all the time i figured <clears throat> it's only right guys it's fucking payback uh, and i think i might be trying to get my other uh, brother over there jeremy you guys know him jeremy burchett We'll see. I've talked to him. He doesn't say anything to Chris. We're just going to kind of play this by ear and fuck with Chris a little bit. But anyway, everything's packed, and uh, we'll be heading down there soon. Got to go to work real quick, and then after that, I'll be I'll be disrupting the evening over at Chris's house. All right, guys, so this may or may not look familiar. My camera's a piece of shit, so you can't really pick it up. But this is where we filmed a lot of the fan series. So I'm here now. Chris's room is just right this way can't get the camera to focus but just right this way he still don't know i'm coming so we're gonna see what's up here i've got all kinds of shit i got the i got some beer in the back i got the projector i got all my clothes i'm gonna stay for a while he doesn't know that either but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let's just ease in here we'll, we'll ease in i'll see you guys back here in a second all right guys so we're in here all right i'm gonna try to get through here dude what uh surprise dude i showed up here i've got some stuff out in, in my car, uh, a projector. We're gonna do a movie madness video here. Ha 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 ha. Gotcha. Uh, I heard you outside. What do you mean? I heard your car. I was right near the garage door. I heard. So you're not mad that I'm here? You're not shocked? Why would I be mad? I see my friend. Who gets mad at that? Like, come on, dude. Have a good weekend, man. Alright, man, I guess I got the movies picked out and stuff, so I'm gonna try to do this. Let's do it. October, Horathon Movie Madness, or whatever I'm gonna title it. Alright, so I'm still a little bum fuzzled on how you knew that I was coming and I'm it here. To fuzzle your bum? It's the next day. It's dreary outside. Mm -hmm. It's a sexy man walking in the background. With a, nice, with a nice butt up on. But no, uh, we're going to be setting everything up later. It's like 10.30 right now. But, uh... The man, the myth, the legend. I was waiting for him to do something. I was waiting for him to do something. But, um... Yeah, which movie are you... Uh, I guess we'll talk about the first one we're going to watch when we do the next video, but I think the first one's going to be Scream. Mm -hmm. Should be fun. Oh, yeah. Be a blast. We got Jeremy downstairs sleeping. Mm -hmm. Wake him up. And It'll probably be at round three. I don't know what time he'll actually wake up. I don't know either. But, see you guys back here later. Alright. Oh, wow. So, we're about to begin the movie madness. Movie madness. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yes. Right. We got the longest coop coming up next. It's first. Chris is excited about that one. He's actually the star. He's the star. But, uh, yeah, seriously, what we got coming up first is Scream. That's going to be a fun one. Then we got like two or three more maybe after that. So we'll, uh, 
let you guys know what that is after uh, the screen. All right, guys. So October 30th, it's night time. It's time to start this. Um, super, super excited. Uh, we're getting it all set up here. As you can see, there's our homemade projector screen. I think it looks pretty good. Kind of looks like a flag if you look at it. A little bit, but it's going to look great. Can't wait to get all this set up and actually watch the films that we have picked. Jeremy's coming out shortly. Oh, yeah. Uh, and then we'll have some more video clips as the uh, as the video progresses. It's going to be two days worth, so it's going to be a long video. And we'll talk and laugh and joke and just... Should discuss the movies time. that we're, we're going to be watching first up on the list is scream mm -hmm. which i love that movie i think it, it revitalized the slasher subgenre, and i think it did a lot for yeah. horror and i can't wait to watch that after that we're going to be moving on to uh, another personal favorite we won't talk about that until we get there but we've got maybe three maybe four to watch tonight if we don't get four in we're going to get three in and then tomorrow oh. we'll get three or four as well so Super cool. We got our snacks in there. I'll show that in a little bit when we get it out here. We got our snacks in there. Jeremy's right there. Jeremy right there. He can't see us. Let's see what he's going to get right there. I think he's going to get a big pulled pork sandwich. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to have one of those. Got some beer in there. Got some water in there. Candy. Everything we need. Everything so in the world. It's going to so be fun. It should be a great time. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yo, we'll uh, see you back here when we start this. We're just getting everything set up right now. Mm -hmm. Figured I would show you the process. Uh, this is technically the... I, I film started filming this a couple days in advance, but this is the real first day of mm -hmm. the uh, the October uh, Horror Thon Movie Madness. So I'm excited. Let's do this. And Chris is looking sexy with the jacket on. Thank you, you look, Can't see me, but I've got some. You know, he looks pretty I've, pretty I've got, fashionable. As I've well. got some fashionable things on, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the ladies are gonna want you so bad. So it's good that you. Well, well, the prostitutes will be here shortly, so we'll you know just watch for that uh, watch for that beat up pinto to pull in they'll have okay. cigarette smoke coming out of the window little tank tops on 45 and over hopefully they're else. not um hopefully they're not riding in the loner <laughs> the loner no From, yeah. uh, the mask yeah <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys we'll see you back here in just a little bit peace all right we're out here guys it's time to start uh scream got our snacks drinks candy pulled pork sandwiches beer everything projector Jerry rigged up there, but it's gonna look good. Should uh, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Here's Jeremy over here Hello. chilling. Got some snacks too. Yep. More snacks here. All right, guys. Everybody excited to see Scream? Oh yeah. I just want to say this is the first time in a year and two months that we've all been in the same area together since COVID and sicknesses and all kinds of different things. It's personal reasons. Crazy. But we're all here. We're all ready to do this. I'm excited. It's something we've looked forward to. And uh, it's gonna be awesome. I only have one thing to ask. It's gonna be a disaster. I only have one thing to ask. What's that? What's your favorite scary movie? Halloween. Probably Halloween as well. I was gonna say uh, the longest kook. Yeah, that. Uh, that, is. that just makes me snackish more than anything. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we're gonna do this. So we'll see you guys back here in a little bit with some clips of the classic 1996 film. Scream. Scream. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are balls deep in Scream. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is over here snacking. Still okay. Kerosene heater there is keeping us warm. Chris, it's really warm. Sexy jacket. Got some uh, some liquor and iced tea there. Just iced tea. Well, sweet tea. Cold beer. Uh, yeah, man. I'm having fun with this so far. Love this movie, and. Uh, I don't know, just from the opening scene, I really love the opening scene too. I think it's really creepy, like <clears throat> how the mom finds the daughter and how mm -hmm. it all kind of unfolds, kind of brutal. Uh, it was something in the 90s that it definitely shook some things up and it was something that I think horror fans wanted and needed and I think that's what we got. But um, yeah, man, love this, uh, love this movie. The sequels, two's okay, not a fan of three, four's all right too. I mean, the fifth one's coming out. Uh, and I'm wondering how it's going to be. Jeremy, what do you think about five? What do you think it's going to be like? <laughs> Honestly, it could either be like four, be okay, or it could be like three, be mediocre. I just, my biggest thing, I wonder if the if they're going to make the five the S and scream. Like uh, the title. We'll see. Now they're bringing back most of the original cast. Uh, I think all the, who survived in the cast is coming back. So it should be interesting. We'll see. I have my own opinions on <clears throat> opinions on it and who I think you know should live and die and what I think should should happen. But there's a uh, Gil Weathers. Gil Weathers. Mother's no Sharon Stone. <laughs> no Sharon Stone. 
All right, guys, we're going to keep watching this and uh, see you guys back here in a little bit with some more clips. Hopefully, everyone, if you're watching this on Halloween, which you more than likely will be, uh, if not a day after Halloween, depends on how long it takes me to get edited. Hopefully, everyone is having or has had a happy Halloween and safe Halloween. All right, as you guys can see, we are in the end of Scream. It's been a blast watching this one. Uh, this is one of my all-time favorites. The more I watch Scream, the more I really love it. I love the uh, the comedy in it, the quips from Stu and Randy. And, mm -hmm. uh, I love the horror in it. It's got really great horror aspects as well. I love the whodunit. Uh, it's just a West Craven classic. <laughs> Scream, Chris. Scream. I agree. On the tech, well, kind of big scream. Mm -hmm. What do you really think about? Uh, pretty much exactly what you said, man. I've always enjoyed Scream. Such a great movie, like uh, paying, like uh, you know, paying tribute to like Halloween in some scenes. Sorry about the cars, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Halloween in the background. I love that, but it's also being its own thing. Yeah. And being creative and unique and like, scream for it. And she's smart. And at the time, '96, when this came out the the double killer kind of thing the, it, it was unique man because you kind of expect billy at first and then you know you go from believing it could be billy to possibly randy to even dewey at some point like it it really does a good job of balancing that out and especially with billy getting you're about to see fake stab i'll spoil it but yeah anyway so it's kind of cold out tonight we got that kerosene heater just oh, yeah. to show you guys we're not freezing it's down there uh yeah, you can see your breath, bro. <laughs> Jeremy's still over here. You probably can't see him. Yeah, you can see him. He's waving. What's up, Jeremy? Nothing <laughs> much. Just enjoying Scream? Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> it breaks all the rules, man. He's no it sharing stuff. Breaks all the rules. No, no sharing stuff. No. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy's going to be so bad at me. Yeah, Uh-oh. No, really. no! All right, so Scream just wrapped. Uh, I think we all kind of feel the same about Scream. I love this movie. It's been a blast watching. I'm just going to say big screen for the sake of saying it because it's kind of like a big screen to me. Yeah. Seeing it on the big screen for the first time was really fun. I wish I could have... It was it was out a year before I was born, but I wish I could have been alive in 96 to see this, uh, see this on the big screen. Uh, I feel like it's... Uh, very very crucial to the horror genre in general uh, it's definitely up there is it, it, it has its own little spot as one of the greats there's a hand I don't know if that's a, a spoiler for what's next but uh, there's just a random hand popping out back there anyway scream Chris final thoughts on scream um, before we move on still holds up I mean uh, all the characters for the most part are really good acting's good uh, yeah. directing good. of course yeah, directing uh, this is an awesome movie, man. I yeah, highly recommend it to anybody that has not seen it. Yeah. And then for your holiday season, for the Halloween season, uh, some empty beer cans. The Halloween season. <laughs> it is the ghost man. <laughs> it's definitely one to watch during the Octo in, during October before Halloween. It's got a good fall atmosphere to it. Like kind of, there's there's some uh, really nice shots of the outside, and a lot of it's in the day, which is weird. There's a lot of it at night, but there's there's quite a bit in the daytime, which you don't usually get in horror films. But I love Scream, Jeremy Scream. No comment. <laughs> All right, so I guess now we're going to move on to the next one. And I guess we'll unveil that now, or unveil that now, what that's going to be. That's going to be another classic, a sequel to a classic. And actually, to me, you I know as well, because you're a huge fan of the series. Yes, I am. Um, one, two, and three, all three of the, the movies. And the are, reboot. Are stellar. And the reboot. Yeah, the reboot. Yeah, the reboot. Well. Remake, whatever you want to call it. I'll let you go ahead and tell what we're going to be watching next. Cause... We'll be watching Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn, 1987. Be fun, can't wait to see uh, Bruce Campbell in action. Oh, this heater feels amazing. Mm hmm, it does. That dude, fuck, fucking bums around the fire. Right <laughs> <laughs> I think I fit the part the most. <laughs> yeah, you kind of got somebody from Home Alone, like that one bird lady. <laughs> dude, like this thing is so soft, <laughs> it feels so good. Well, I guess we take a few bathroom breaks, yeah, and do whatever yeah, we got to yeah, do before we yeah. start the next film. Abs dude. Absolutely, absolutely. Just leave that on your head for the remainder of the, of the movie night. Just carry it around. 
we got we got three more movies to watch. We might can fit two in. We might can do that third one. We'll see. But we'll we'll uh, keep you all updated as we go along. Oh, for sure. So we're watching Evil Dead Two. <clears throat> Just started it. Another classic. As far as effects goes, I mean, the first one was great. This one just kind of amps it up times 100. Uh, I love this one for a lot of different reasons. I used to prefer the original over this and Army of Darkness, but I really, I've grown, I have a new love for, for Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. Like this scene, it'll happen. So yeah, Chris, you love Evil Dead 2. You've been a long time lover of the film. Yeah, ever since I seen it as a kid. Borrowed it from uh, my brother's friend one night and watched it really late at night and didn't know what I was getting myself into, man. And I really, really enjoyed it. I wanted more until I learned that, uh, you know, I, I was like, oh, there's not Evil Dead 3. Then my dad handed me a copy of Army of Darkness. I seen Ash's head on it, severed head, and I'm like, Okay, he's dead in this one. I gotta check it out. So, this one started off for me. Seen this one first, and that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it. Love Bruce Campbell, dude. Love yeah, he, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Like, it just he's just great. I feel like the character Ash really like becomes, you know, his role in this movie. The first one's good, but like, it gets better as it goes along. I agree. I agree. I mean, would you say this is your favorite out of the trio? Yeah, probably. Then, yeah, I go back and forth, but it'd probably be my favorite. Would Army of Darkness go next, and then the original yeah, be the and last? Yeah, then the, the reboot or remake, whatever you want to call that. I, I really enjoy them all, though. Jeremy. Yes. Evil Dead 2. Yeah. <laughs> you like this one? Yeah, uh, same thing with Chris. This is actually my introduction movie to the franchise. And... Uh, definitely my favorite mm -hmm. and I, I think me and Chris pretty much have the same lineup honestly when it comes to uh, personal preference of the films yeah. I think a lot, I've heard a lot of people say you can just skip over the original and watch this one I I love this one now I didn't when I was a kid as much as I do now I really enjoy it a lot now over like repeat viewings and everything but I still think the original is necessary to watch I feel like it's got an eerie tone this one capitalizes on a lot of different things, but it doesn't have that exact same tone as the original one does. I think that one's necessary to watch just as much as this one is. Um, you could skip one and watch this one, but I, I would say watch them all three. Just watch the first, second, third. And the reboot's good, too. So, But yeah, Evil Dead 2, pretty fun. Glad to see this one on the big screen. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back here in a little bit with some more clips. I'm to pull it out. All right, so we're still watching Evil Dead 2. That guy's a dick. Yep, Jake just heard that. Getting stabbed, and then... Uh, he, he sucker punched Ash how many times? Multiple uh, times. Yeah, he held him down. And then he kicked him twice. Kicked him twice. And, pushed uh, him after he got him outside, after he forced him outside. Yeah, with he the, hit the him with the, but, with the shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy's down here saying what we're thinking. What were you saying? He also hit him in the back of the head with a shotgun. He did. He's a dick. He deserves to die. Uh, all because of Bobby Joe. <laughs> Bobby also, he's, Joe! He's an idiot. You don't pull out a sharp object. Hey, you, you, gotta, you gotta inside. keep this. Uh, keep it rolling on here. It's a good okay. clip right here. I gotta watch. Good clip. Let's see. Worst, worst place you can put it. Oh, dude, finger nails. Yeah, anything oh. like that. Ted Raimi is now his. He belongs to Ted Raimi. <laughs> no, you can't save him. You can't save him. He's going to have to do that. Oh, yeah, he's the best one. Nah, no, I think that's, that's a mere... Uh, Flesh man, dude. He'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> He's a free bleeder. He's a free bleeder. 
Oh god. Somebody was definitely on some blood spinners. <laughs> yeah, he's fucking Joe Spinell. Oh god. Man, Ash is a head pusher. Yeah, he's on a hey, body. Dude, he body keeps body slam people yeah. in. <laughs> All right, guys, so Evil Dead 2, classic. Nothing we can really say about it. Uh, if we don't show any more clips of this, you have any final things to say about Evil Dead 2 before we move on to... I love this movie. <laughs> I do, I just That's it. it. Just a statement. That's it. Love this movie. That's it from Chris. Okay. Uh, Jeremy. I love it, too. All right. Okay. I love this movie as well. Uh, it, it's one that's grown on me over the years. Um... At, at first, I didn't really know how to take the comedy as, as much as I do now. I think it's funny, but I think it's also got really good scares. I love the mm -hmm. effects in it. The effects are better than the original movie. Um, but there's still some gruesome scenes in the original movie. The fucking pencil to the ankle, dude. Like, there's so much stuff in that. But but this is good. I, I, I love how you get more of a development with Ash in this. And Ash, obviously, is presented as the, the main character. I still miss the Unibrow. Yeah, the Unibrow's classic. But uh, if we don't have any more clips, this is uh, Evil Dead 2. Classic. If you haven't watched it, we would definitely recommend you watch it during the Halloween oh, yeah. season. Um, every one of these that we're watching, definitely watch them. Tomorrow we have some, some sp specifically Halloween-y, October top mm -hmm. feels. That so, probably won't surprise anybody. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So... But yeah, guys, uh, gonna go ahead and cut it here. Uh, we'll see you guys back here in a little bit with our third movie. I don't think we've told the third movie yet. So Should we'll we tell it. Yeah, can I? Yeah, I'll, I'll let Jeremy tell it since you told this one. It's Arthur Christmas. That's what it is. <laughs> Do you really want to tell it though? Sure. <clears throat> Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Classic, one of the best of the franchise, of the Nightmare franchise, so I'm excited about that one. That's going to be fun on the big screen. And uh, we'll see you guys back here when we start that one. So uh, stay fresh, stay salty, and, uh, you know, stay sexy. But for how long? What he said. Are we still watching Arthur Christmas? Sleep, those little slices of death, how I loathe them. Edgar Allan Poe, and a foot. Nightmare 3. Love this one. Uh, is it the best out of the franchise? Minus the original. Yeah, to me it is. To me it is. Jeremy. Uh, probably to me it is as well. I love it. I do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go Nightmare 4. This is my favorite out of the personal favorite out of the franchise. Is it the best? Maybe not. The best is the original, hands down. Yeah. I, I think so, but it, it's the creepiest to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's great, but there's something about Dream Master that just... I don't know. I don't know if it's the characters. I mean, the characters in this one's great as well. Alice is a great character, but I yeah. feel like this one has better characters overall. For me. I mean, uh, it's Dan a, and Rick, you know, yeah. like Perrin, Kincaid, Joey. Yeah, well, it's a personal preference, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Hey, that never fails, does it? Yeah, it could be 5 a.m. and there'd be a semi. No, with this one, I mean, I think the characters overall, they're, they're more fleshed out than they are in part four. In part four, you get run through them a little bit, and it's a little bit more chaotic than this one. You get a, you get to live with these characters for a little bit, so that's why I like this one. Um, I don't know, man. There's something about four that I love, but this one is, is right up there. It's three and four for me. And uh, I don't know. Five, I like parts of five. We're not watching five, but... I like parts of five, six. It has some fun moments as well. New Nightmare obviously is is its own kind of entity, entity kind of thing. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, Nightmare Three. Trish Arquette didn't did not return for part four. That will be taken up by Tuesday night. Um, but she did a great job in this one. I thought I liked her in this one. I just don't think she wanted to be uh, labeled like horror. I don't think yeah. she wanted to be, you know. Which is why she didn't return, but I think she would have done a great job because I really like watching her in this one. So, but anyway, I'm gonna try to cut it here. Yeah, perfect time to cut it so I don't get 
I'll probably have all kinds of call for that shit anyway. It don't matter. Alrighty, we're probably about halfway uh, through Nightmare yeah. 3, maybe a little more. Uh, Nightmare 3. So we've had uh, Philip and Jennifer's death. Okay. Two yeah. deaths. Two deaths. Pretty okay. creative deaths. So they cool. are. Probably the most out of the series up until this point, for sure. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a classic. I love this one. Nancy has something to say. I like when they dive into the dreams here in a little bit and they have the whole like pulling people into the dreams mm -hmm. and all that, which they've already done that a little bit, but the characters of uh, Kincaid and Joey and, and you know, so on and so forth. I'm bad and I'm beautiful. Chick from Bad Dreams, Trisha, also is Kirsten, or Kirsten, as she said. Yeah. Um, yeah. Love not my team. Screwing it all right now. We get that explanation. Jeremy. What? Nightmare 3, what's up, dude? What are you thinking? I like it a lot. You almost killed me. Okay. Why is he after us? Yeah. And what did we do? It's not you. Didn't do nothing. Your parents. My parents. They burned him alive. And now we're paying for their sins. You are the last of the Elm Street children. <laughs> and then Kirsten passes it on to uh, Alice and the next one that kind of gives her the... So he keeps going and keeps going. Oh, by the way, father Because Alice, her generation didn't have nothing to do with her. But her. because of Kristen passing yep. the power, I guess he just... I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> Kill them. I'll go <laughs> Kill them motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, I'll go after them. I haven't been able to do that since I was a little Heather Lane Camp again in this one. Lane Camp can't be in the... Like I don't know. I mean, she. I mean, I love, I think she's a good actress. I she's not... She's more attractive in this one than she is in the original. But we talked about this a little bit earlier. I think they do a good job of making the protagonists or the leads in, the, in these movies feel like... Kind of like... Uh, I don't know. Like your little sister, in a way. And... Uh, Kristen kind of feels like that, and then uh, Nancy felt like that in the first one. I don't know if that was intentional, but it works. So, yeah. Nightmare 3, we'll see you back here in a little bit with some more clips. If we don't get any more clips tonight, uh, then we'll do some more tomorrow. So. your hearts to him for God is our refuge well hear my cry oh God Neil is my upset prayer. he didn't get that from pussy. the ends of the earth I call to you <laughs> I call as my heart <laughs> lead me to the rock that is higher than I dude oh, he is look at him he's mad like he's mad he so saved uh, a few children fall. yeah well that's not what he's worried about but yeah <laughs> He can take pride in that at least. So <laughs> Even save a few kids. No, not Mary Three. Well, we just saw that. Oh, bring me to what's it? Bring me the beautiful dream. Yeah, yeah. Saying, beautiful place or beautiful dream. And whoever yeah. finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his it? life, oh, he's chasing after the nun again. They shall live forever in the glory of his kingdom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine. Uh oh, no, no, there's Amanda Kruger. So, I see that. You were his mother. No shit. Oh my god. That's pretty cool. Alright, Nightmare 3. 
Love it. Oh yeah, I love this man. Yeah, me too. Love this song too. Alright, so we're here with day two, October 31st. It's Halloween. It's a pretty night. Not as cold yet as it was last night, but it probably will slowly get there. Here with uh, Chris Brock eating some uh, Memphis barbecue chips. Yep. Getting everything started. We got some wings in the oven. Yep. Got pizza. Uh, it's going to be fun, guys. We're going to start tonight off with Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Which is a classic in its own right, in my opinion, because. I mean, it's a, a mid 2000s film, uh, and it really caught me off guard when I watched it for the first time. How much I actually enjoyed it, and it's just got the perfect fall atmosphere. It's a great October horror film. Definitely, definitely have to watch this one every year on October, on Halloween. Mm -hmm. uh, and then after that, we'll be moving on to two obvious ones. We'll save oh, yeah. it and talk about them. But and uh, yeah, guys, see you back here in a little bit. All right, guys, we're back here and we're starting uh, Trick or Treat. Love this uh, this Halloween horror film like we talked about me and Chris mentioned earlier. Uh, yeah, this, this one's gonna be fun. I'm excited for this. You guys excited for Trick or Treat? Oh yeah, man. It's a good little anthology, and I love how it kind of wraps around. Oh, yeah, Very I agree. unique in that I regard. Agree, man. Uh, it's a nice shot there, the pumpkin, Jeremy. Yes, sir. Oh, I can't see you too well, but uh, what do you think about Trick or Treat? I like it. Locked. Uh, I think it was actually the first anthology film I've ever seen. It's a good introduction. That's a, that's a good yeah, way to start. It's a killer introduction. It terrified me when I first saw it. How old was you? 25? Yes. 25. 25 alive. It was just like what happened to the kids, and I'm like, I'm, I'm close enough to being mentally retarded, so... <laughs> <laughs> you know? I was, I was scared of buses after that, bro. Yeah, it's pretty creepy, dude. Are we, later? We, we'll see, we'll uh, see you guys back here with some more clips in a little bit. We're gonna just uh, indulge in uh, premarital sex. Oh yeah, and, my favorite. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you guys back here in a little bit. <laughs> and uh, I, say, I, was, I was gonna say one thing. Go ahead. About, once you tie the knot, it's not that hot. Premarital sex. It was better in my. <laughs> Okay, so we just wrapped Trick or Treat. Uh, got our sound bar. We got Chris's sound bar hooked up, so the audio is going to be better for the next two films. Uh, Jeremy, Trick or Treat. We think upon this viewing, still, still dig the movie. I still dig it. The sound bar is really loud. That was the only part I really heard you say. So, anything else happened? Uh, bananas. Okay. Yeah. Chris is inside getting something right now, so won't be able to get his final thoughts on Trick or Treat. Me personally, I love it. I think it's a classic. I think it um, has definitely gained its popularity over the years, but it's still very underrated in my opinion. Um, this is something that should be on everyone's uh, ritual uh, every year that they watch it, you know, for Halloween. So. Hello. So we wrap Trick or Treat. Your final thoughts on Trick or Treat? Um, it's an awesome little movie, man. I remember it from the last time that, that I watched it. Yeah. I uh, love how it wraps around, and I mean, it's just great atmosphere, uh, really good acting, a lot of characters in it. Um, can't wait for the next one. I heard they're doing a sequel. It's been in the works for a while. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit, man. Jeremy did, and uh, I don't know. I'm mixed. I think one could be good or one could be really bad, and I don't want it to kind of taint the. Uh, Original, you know, yeah. so I love it though. It's it's definitely a good way to kick off your Halloween evening and yeah. watching this one. Uh, the next one we're going to be watching is obvious, but uh, we're going to be moving on to the classic 1978 film from John Carpenter. Halloween, uh, Halloween guys, favorite horror film of all time. I feel like I, I mean I've talked about that over the years numerous times, but that movie is uh, getting to watch it on the big screen, if you will, is going to be a blast. So I'm excited about that. And, uh, 
yeah, we're going to go ahead and start, and we'll see you guys back here in a little bit with some more clips. Hopefully, everybody's keeping it spooky out there. But what Samuels is really talking about here is fate. Just the two of us. You see, Halloween. fate caught up with several Man, it's, lives It's great watching here. this, like I said earlier, on the big screen. But no it's, matter what course it's really cool. of action oh, yeah, Collins sure. took, Especially out here outside, you know. Yeah, there's supposed to be a full moon tonight also, so that's really cool. And it's the weather's not as cold as it was last night, so it's probably gonna get there, but regardless, we're gonna have a good time. Lori Strode, uh Lori Strode's showed. <laughs> no, uh, no the whole Lori Strode like angle like I think I prefer yeah. Halloween, Halloween 2, and oh, um, uh, H2O. Costain wrote that fate was somehow related only right, to religion. Uh, but, whereas Samuels um, felt that, you? well, fate was like a natural well, element, like earth, air, yeah, fire, Yeah, I agree and water. with you. We'll right. see where they go Samuels with it, you know. Yeah, kills could be, yeah, they could, could really a, shock everybody. They could, and they could go a very like a different route with it. Or maybe the same route. I don't know. I've yeah. seen 2018 like three times now. And I did not like it very much at all the first time I watched it. I liked it a little better the second time. I liked it a little better the third time. There's some things I just can't look over. Sartain, I can't look over. I don't like that character. No matter how, no matter, I can't speak. No matter how many times I watch it, I can't like that character. I don't like some of the lines, that, like the "You're the new Loomis" and stuff like that. It does, you know, it doesn't sit with me. The opening, I don't like the opening. But it's not the worst of the franchise by far. It's got some good moments, but the, the teaser to kills look pretty good. So we'll see. Jeremy, what do you think? Excuse? About what do you think about Halloween? Like the timelines. Jamie Lee Curtis's timeline, Lori Strode. Would you prefer one and then 2018 or one, two and H2O? Try to scream as a kid. Honestly, uh, probably one, two and H2O. Like you were saying, I like 2018, but there are a lot of problems with it. Yeah. But, uh, bigger question when are we going to see Jamie Lee Curtis tits, bro? She didn't show her tits until she went legit. Trading places. <laughs> 19, I think it's 81 or 82, I'm not sure. Dude, there's a cord sticking out in front of Jeremy's face. Looks like half of his face is cut down the middle. <laughs> Happy Halloween. I'll right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Some more clips, clips, and uh, what? I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are nearing the end of Halloween. Uh, man, it's been amazing to watch this on the big screen. We will be moving on next to Halloween 2. Uh, that was probably predictable, but still have to watch. If you watch Halloween, you better watch Halloween 2. That's just how it is. Uh, had a blast watching this one. I mean, every movie we picked, I think, are all like, big screen worthy. Like, everything we picked is... is uh, it has been fun, but this one specifically for it to be Halloween night. The weather's a little chilly, so it's not perfect, but it's still still alright. Full moon out, everything's just just really uh, it's set the mood for this movie. So. Bless this one, Chris. You had fun with Halloween. Oh, yeah. Halloween on Halloween, full moon. So if it's a little bit warmer, it'll be perfect. Yeah. Oh, no. Could be colder, I guess. That's, that's the right side. Yeah. And we got a kerosene heater. We don't have to have that, so that's good. I mean, we do have to have it. What I'm saying is we, we could go without it and not have it and, and be colder and not be able to do it at all, so that's a plus. So, Jeremy, Halloween, what do you think? Please stop. It still Please. holds up. Still my favorite horror film. And watching it on I agree, I think you said spot on, dude. Spot on. On delay. On delay. Get up. Get up. Damn, she's got a heart shaped ass. Look at that. <laughs> she. <laughs> Jamie has me like a Pisces when Michael's weak. 
I've been locked in sad Judith's casket for four whole weeks. Now do as I say. All right, so we're moving on to Halloween 2. Uh, my favorite horror sequel of all time. There's a bunch that I love, but this one is... I love it because it's it's a continuation of the first night. I mean, it's the same night. And it's, I don't know, it all pans out the way that, kind of the way that I always wanted the story to. When I was a kid, this is all that, you know, you have Halloween, Halloween 2. But in the back of my mind, uh, Lori Strobe was Michael Myers' sister. That's just how it was. Um, and they, they changed the angle on that as, as time went on, especially with, like, 2018 and, you know, things like that. But if there was just Halloween and Halloween 2, I think they would be amazing and regardless of any other sequels i love four and you know five and six and so on and so forth but halloween halloween 2 it's one big movie and that's what i love about it got the scene here where we get to see uh unmasking of mikey tony moran the michael myers apparently he done it all chris over here bundled up Swaddled like a newborn baby. <coughs> what do you have to say about Halloween 2? Uh, I pretty much watch it immediately after Halloween. And uh, <coughs> it goes good. It flows good together. And honestly, these are my two favorite in the series. Even though it was like filmed like, well, like three years apart. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it still flows good. Yeah, it does. It I mean, flows really good. Obviously, Dick Orlock's a little bit bigger than, you know. Nick. Yep, yeah, Nick Castle. And you know the mask is a little different, but nothing compared to like, the sequels. You know, yeah, I how agree. drastically different the mask is in the sequels. Speaking of Nick Castle, you uh, got Nick Castle to autograph that poster for me a couple yeah. years ago at the convention I was supposed to go to and wasn't able to. Talked about that, but thank you for that again. No problem, man. I thought it was pretty funny. I think he thought that I was Jordan because I said, <laughs> uh, you know, to my friend Jordan. I think he thought that he was like, oh, okay. I'm, all right, yeah, we're friends. To my friend George. So I thought that was kind of funny. It's still up there in my room. It's not hanging. It's kind of sitting up there with all the other stuff, like my Halloween shit yeah. and Scream Factory stuff. <laughs> Don't be mad, dude. Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad. I get even. Where's Jeremy down here? All right. I'm trying to lower it to your level. There you go. I'll see you. What do you think about Halloween 2, bro? It's probably the weakest <laughs> sequel in the franchise. <laughs> no, it, it, honestly, the funny thing about Halloween 2 is I don't understand how Rick Rosenthal directed Halloween 2 and then directed Resurrection. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. Out of the original eight, he directed one of the best sequels and literally the worst sequel out of the original eight. Which is insane. But anyway love this movie hopefully everybody out there is having a happy uh, halloween and a safe halloween hopefully everybody got plenty of candy whether you went trick-or-treating or not because of this covid shit we all live in hopefully you got plenty of candy you watched a lot of really great horror films i know we have and uh yeah stay tuned we'll probably some more clips of uh halloween too and then i'll uh, see you guys back here in a little bit Okay, guys, so I am back home, and it is no longer Halloween, unfortunately, although Halloween is every day of the year to me. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to get any more clips uh, to Halloween 2 the night. Uh, we got a little bit later. We were all a little tired. We didn't feel like doing any more clips. Um, and I did not actually get a proper ending to this Halloween or this October Horror, horror Marathon. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and do one now, and I wanted to say that I had a blast hanging out with my two brothers, Chris and Jeremy, watching, we wound up watching Scream, uh, we watched Evil Dead 2, we watched Nightmare 3, dipping into uh, Trick or Treat, Halloween and Halloween 2 to end it off, and then also throughout the day until we were actually able to see the projector at night, we were watching movies that I did not film uh, on the inside, like the Halloween movies on AMC Fear Fest and so on and so forth, and it was just a blast actually getting to be around each other again, it had been over a year as I talked about previously, and it's always fun, and it was definitely an October and a Halloween to uh, to remember, so I wanted to give it a proper ending and say thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and it was, yeah, it was fun, one of the best. So uh, now I'm going to end it here, 
And I'm going to show some of the pictures uh, that were taken while we're down there and probably put a little music behind it. Um, so, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment and subscribe. And as always, guys, keep it horror. Peace.